Welcome to my life as an NPC, I am Corbin Scythe and this is Coffee Talk, uh, episode 2, Hibiscus and Butterfly, and uh, yeah, uh, I am after a lot of problems with the first game, no not the first game, with the first few episodes, I believe I have finally fixed it and it's kind of weird that it's always raining, uh, but yeah, uh, let's... Continue playing cough jug, shall we? This is as far as the streams were going in the early plays. So now there is it's brand new to me now. So let's see where we end up, shall we? Friday, September 22nd, 2023. The evening whispers, that's the name of it. Atlantic, Atlantic countries to sign a multi-billion dollar deal for education system improvements. Hmm. What returning to the office means for the Nekomimis. Okay, that's an interesting take. Woodpecker almost pecks through whole utility pole. Strong beat. <laughs> okay, but we are mentioning Nekomimis, so we will see Rachel here. This rain season sure is something. And this time it's actually rain sounds. Uh, it wasn't in the first, but uh, I, it was still some kind of static in the background. And I thought that was the rain sounds, but no, it was just my laptop, my gaming laptop. Uh, putting the fans on blast, to be honest. So, uh, yeah. Uh, I have now learned how to edit that out. But now it's actual rainy sound, rain sounds going on. How are you feeling, Miss Rachel? <laughs> as good as I can be. Yeah. What is it? Oh, nothing. I think I'll never get used to seeing a Nekomimi transformation, is all. Mm, in a good or bad way? In a good way, of course. It's quite magical. Thanks! So, do you need anything? A towel, perhaps? It was pouring outside when you came in. Hmm... Do you have a hairdryer? A hairdryer? No, unfortunately we, do, we don't. Then nope, I'm good. <laughs> You sure? Oh, Carbon, a little rain won't hurt me. I'll be fine. A little rain? Dude, that is not a little rain. Alright, if you say so. Hey now, I'm no longer a kid, okay? <laughs> you are still a kid. It's been three years already. Wow! I age too, you know. It has been three years. Okay, so at least you're 21, but that's not the point. The point is that time does not work uh, in the same way as it does uh, for everyone else as it does for Neil. What the hell? Silver, I mean. Ah, it has nothing to do with that at all. The last thing I want is for a star to get ill because of poor service here. Then you just have to treat me real nice. Oh. How about making me a special oh, drink? Oh, a special drink, huh? A special drink? What do you have in mind? Something milky. Of course. And slightly sweet. So a bit of honey. <laughs> and some brightness to negate brightness. this gloomy weather. Some brightness, huh? As in flavor or color? <laughs> Up to Up you. To you. I mean, different colors usually have different effects, right? Alright, I'll try. Yay! Oh, and no coffee, please. Can you summarize your order for me? Can you summarize your order for me? A colorful non-coffee latte with honey, please. Uh, la la latte with honey. I think uh, hibiscus might be the uh, uh, more colorful one in this sense. Cheerful, brightful, whatever she said. Sweetheart Latte! 
Oh! That is so sweet! But what happens if we were to use... Uh, okay, we have four different versions here. Uh, we can use uh, the hibiscus, we can use the pea latte, we can reverse the order of milk and honey. Uh, so let's do uh, this first. Mm, that's trash. Mm, no. And blue pea. Oh, oh, so there are two uh, identical drinks except for the flower you're using. Why am I so in love with these drinks? Oh, mm. yes, you are getting this one. <laughs> Oh, there's also good. Do I get all of them or do I only get the blue marshmallow? All right, drink is served. Now, before that, oh, I only got the one. Blue marshmallow, a comforting herbal tea that soothes the spirits and ups of upset children and stumped grown-ups alike. Soothes. That's not good. Oh yeah, she hasn't drink and uh, dr had anything to drink yet. Great picture though. Now, do you think a satyr would look good with leg tattoos? Asking for a friend and not for me at all. Yes, watch this uh, movie about vampire calling himself vegan by drinking animal blood. Tried it once. It was neither satisfying nor fulfilling. Synthetic is better. Okay, if you say so. Also, a vampire getting pregnant? Amusing. Working on something. Working on something. Working on something. Curious. <laughs> Course down with the resume deliveries tomorrow. Uh, right, I have to enter them. Should just be able to heart them, and that should be it. And I would literally go to the office every day in a wedding dress if only the skanks in HR would allow it. Damn, Lua! Of course I should shave my fur. How you can see the tat otherwise? Damn, he is getting that tat. Tattoo. All right, drink is served. Thanks. Hmm? Hey, Corbin. <laughs> this is not what I ordered at all. Are you testing me? It is. Um, no. What's wrong with this? It had. Right, the order is important too. Shit. Tired? Not really, but this happens sometimes. Well, don't work too hard, okay? Even an idol has to take breaks sometimes. But you're the idol, not me. Nuh-uh. You're the idol of this Ooh. coffee shop. Gee, girl, thanks. Aw. So, take it easy, okay? Thank you. I'll keep that in mind. At any rate, has it really been that long already? <laughs> My last visit here was probably over a year ago, wasn't it? I believe so. What's around the time your, in your images started to appear on buses? <laughs> right. Things just took off and suddenly I had no more free time. How are you hanging? Busy. Okay, no, I'm, I'm sort of upset that uh, they none of the drinks were actually called a la latte. Um, you just have to 
figure out on your own that uh, milk first means latte. Uh, la la latte. It's easier to say in Swedish, okay? Great, even. A lot is happening, actually. Yeah? Like, I've been busy shooting new music videos and such. A lot of photo shoots too. I'm also set to appear in several shows and podcasts and... Oh! I'm creating a new single! Oh! Is that so? Mm-hmm. I'm guessing this is her single. That's great, great news! Congrats! No! Don't congratulate me yet. Oops. Okay. I'm still uh, in the process of making it. Mm. In more ways than one. Oh. What do you mean? <laughs> I'm actually creating the song this time. Wow. And I'll be collaborating with AJ. I don't know who AJ is. Wait a second. You mean... The guy who's always on your playlist. Aramy Yendru. <laughs> oh, I see. Aramy Yendru. Oh, there we go. Um. Aramy Yendru. Okay, good on you. Good on you. That's cool. That's cool. Mm. That's really cool. I know. I'm excited. Can't wait to hear it. I also had no idea you made songs. <laughs> I know I don't look like it, but truthfully, from the time I was a kid, it's always been a dream of mine. Writing songs? And dancing. More specifically, singing and dancing to my own songs. A one Neko Mimi <laughs> pop-up concert. A pop-up concert? You know a concert that pops up randomly? You see, it happens sometimes in malls or on a popular busy street. Ah, yes. I see what you mean. You miss it and poof, it's gone. Leaving only memories of a one-of-a-kind show with a one-of-a-kind experience. Sounds rather exciting. <laughs> right? I guess I've always loved being on stage. But you know... We all wanted to become everything when we were kids. But as you grow up, you have to pick your battles. And for me, singing and dancing just comes more naturally than creating my own music. Ah, yeah. I can I, I can get that. Uh, as I've been making these videos, the original idea was that I was supposed to be about my life in general. Very much a vlog. Uh, but honestly, uh, not only was it really difficult to come up with something to uh, talk about, but also once I started doing the... Uh, College Kings playthrough, uh, I noticed that I didn't have time to do anything else. I tried doing uh, RPG uh, uh, glory stories, but I just couldn't get the feel of it. And I tried doing RPG um, uh, tutorial video, but it was really difficult to even get into it to uh, find to make the script for it it was really difficult honestly so i uh, gave up on it after my first and only video uh, yeah at least until now i thought to myself if i can't do it alone then i'll make it with someone who definitely knows what they're doing you definitely chose the right guy right i'm taking in fresh inspiration even now who knows, maybe I'll get inspired from your drinks, too. As long as I can make the right drinks, right? But I'm so excited, you can't believe! Okay! And so, keep an eye out for it, okay? Of course! When... never it's out, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Will do. Ugh. Huh? Power outage! Great, I knew it. A blackout? Yeah. It happened before, huh? Only when the weather gets this bad. Give me a quick second, please. I'll turn on the generator. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
So cute! Oh! Riona! Yeah, and after playing being a dick, I learned that it should be Rio. Uh, Rio. Yeah, because uh, I've seen there they say Rio! Uh, they call it Rio, so it should be Riona, not Rihanna. <laughs> Cute. Oh, Miss Riona, welcome. Hello. Sorry about my absence earlier. I was just turning on the generator. Miss Rachel, is everything all right? Oh, that yep. caught you by surprise too. I was just surprised by the thunder for a second there. Yeah, well, everything should be hold on for now. Okay. Happy to see you again, Miss Rihanna. How are you feeling tonight? Honestly, not the best. I'm sorry to hear that. Can you make me something nice with a bit of sweetness? Something nice with a bit of sweetness? Of course, anything you want. I recall last time you suggested an interesting drink to me. Something with blue tea and milk? That's about right. What could that have been? Could you please prepare that for me? But make it ever so slightly sweeter this time. It's been quite a day. I think I deserve the sugar. <laughs> Roger that. I have just the perfect drink for you. Okay. Then a blue latte with a hint of sweetness, please. There we go. Oh, is this... Is <laughs> okay, no. Uh, this is... Uh, but yeah, I guess this is what uh, she wants. And... Ooh, give item. Hmm... I can only give one. She had a hot, a big. She, it's been an um, an annoying day. She said so. Let's go with a fidget spinner. I mean, it's it's cute. Oh please, Lord, let this be a latte. Uh, I can only trash two more. Oh, I should have checked that. If this was a latte or not. Mm. I I can do it. Uh Latte 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 milk here. That hurts my brain. Blue marshmallow, a comforting herbal tea. Not a latte. So I was right. Here we go. Hmm? <laughs> What's this? What is this? Is it from that person from before? He wants me to contact him using this. How? In any case, thank you for passing on the message to me. Yeah, I'm just gonna check here. Oh yeah, of course, it's the new drink, whatever. Oop, oop. One rimming blue for the lady in blue who's got the blues. Oh, that is, mm-mm, no, mm, <laughs> But I'm not wearing blue though. Your hair is blue. You have that cool blue thing going on. <laughs> uh, 
I love it. Thank you. Anything else you need? No, it's fine. Thank you. Ooh, we got the updates. I just saw a little kid and her mom walking hand in hand and it made me feel so warm in my chest. I guess I'm calling my mom tonight. Well, that's, that's adorable. That's why everyone loves Aqua. Oh, Gala is showing up today. Nice. Just one of those days? It's just one of those days! I suppose. It's one of those moments when it seems like everything is collapsing simultaneously. Not necessarily great by any means. I know how that feels. Want to talk about it? Rachel is feeling generous <laughs> today. Talking about yourself in third person is not a great sign. Okay, that was fast. Good evening. God damn. Talk to. Her. Long time no see. Hey, Rachel. Still a hospital's admissions officer here. <laughs> I know. I'm just kidding. Welcome, Mr. Gala. Hey, Carbon. I'm just here for a quick drink before I get to work. But it looks like I'll have to take a breather first. I'll have to agree. Please, make yourself at home. So... You were saying? Hmm. Oh, the lady and I were in the middle of a conversation. We were? <laughs> this? Or maybe at the beginning of one? I'll back off if I'm being too nosy though. I'm just very happy today. Even though I gave the wrong drink, are you sure? I see. Should I move over there? No, you're fine. I'm curious about how you've been doing too. But gotta keep the momentum with the sister over there. Alright then, please don't mind me. This reminds me strongly of my very first visit here. <laughs> yeah, the people here uh, are quite the shadowboxes. Hmm? To be frank, this may be the place where people ask me the most questions. Is that a good or bad thing? I'm not sure yet. Uh, but I do not mind it too much. Truthfully, I do not interact with many people on a daily basis. Since I'm on the road most of the time. Is that so? What do you do for a living, if you don't mind me asking? I'm a groover driver. Groover... Groover driver! But I only do intercity deliveries, mostly. Sounds tough. It is not as bad as it sounds. I quite enjoy driving. It helps clear the mind sometimes. Right. Mm, that's true. I drove a cab in Manhattan back in the early 60s. You did? Yes, but I had to stop after a few months since it got pretty dangerous. Dangerous? How? Because people were trying to pick a fight with me. <laughs> well, yeah, they want to fight with the werewolf. Oh. I also had a few people trying to skip paying fares or even rob me. That sounds so terrifying and dangerous. Mm, he was a taxi driver, perhaps? Well, it was back in the early 60s. People weren't as kind to us as they are now. But I get why you like driving. I always enjoyed the long drive back and forth from airports. I see. Prior to focusing exclusively on delivery, I used to accept passengers as well. Oh, why the change? Because 7 out of 10 passengers would cancel on me. Usually right after I entered my car as well, which resulted in my suspension. Hmm. What? Why? Because it terrified them. Ah. That's just rude. I agree with Miss Rachel. It sounds so, so unreasonable. 
I must admit I looked significantly different back then. <laughs> oh, did you now? Did you have a bad face too? It was because I never had to deal with so many people before. I was living in seclusion far away from big cities up until that point. And so during the appeal period I attempted to make myself appear less frightening. In the meantime I was permitted to make deliveries. Right. It turns out that I enjoyed doing deliveries much more than I expected. So I rescinded my appeal. Additionally, the schedule flexibility allows me to focus more on my training and auditions. Did you say auditions? For what? Um... I've been auditioning for a soprano <laughs> role. <laughs> She's so shy about that. Really? That sounds cool. No, it's... No, it's not cool at all. Why do you say that? I've tried for years and I've yet to land one single role. Oh. I also lost air pressure in one of my tires, by the way. <laughs> really? Yes. The officer already warned us about it too. However, I'm not yet quite sure if it's related to his case. The officer? Oh, right. Hmm. I'll let Officer Georgie know about it when he comes in. Thank you. So, yes, not a good day. I am sorry to hear that. He is so massive! Jesus. It's fine. I'm used to it. No. Well, you shouldn't have to put up with it. Sorry, don't mind me. I'm just going to check my messages. Um, okay. It's nice to see you again, Rachel. Oh, same. You must have been busy. I haven't seen you around in a while. How's Henry? That's fine. He's been pretty busy too. Not as busy as you, it seems. I've seen him here at least every other month or so. Really, Carbon? <laughs> well... He, he wants what he wants. He won't let me stay out late on my break, yet he comes here and see all of you. Oh, uh, uh, well... <laughs> Just kidding, I know he comes here often. <laughs> oh, it's fine. Hey, excuse me! He needs breaks more than me. Okay, fine. Right. Being able to unwind becomes more important as you get older. Be sure he gets his yearly checkups, though. Will do. So, what's up with you these days? Not a lot, but... Oh. I have a small problem at work, actually. Yeah? What is it? Well, as the person who handles patient admissions, uh, I have to handle really young kids sometimes. We're not a children's hospital, so they usually come in as urgent cases. Oh. That's why I try to make the admissions process as painless as possible. Just to make things a little easier for everyone involved. Yeah. Yeah, that's nice of you. But uh, the higher-ups don't appreciate that, huh? Sadly, kids tend to get scared of me. Which makes expediting their admissions more difficult sometimes. Okay. But you're like one of the nicest guys I know. Well, they're usually really, really young. Do you know what makes them so afraid of you? Not exactly, but... I think my size has something to do with it. I still tower over them, even when I get down to their eye level. They probably feel vulnerable too. Yeah, I see what you mean. Not exactly what you'd call a great combo. Not at all. Again, it's not a big deal. Just look at her, she's so pretty. God damn. I'm just wondering if there's anything I can do about it. Ah. Hey, Carbon. Yes? I didn't realize it was already this late. Seems like I'll have to go soon. Can I order now? Of course. What will it be? I'll have my usual. A mix of tea, milk, and ginger. Is that the Galahad? Tea, milk, and ginger. The Galahad, yes. I 
a special drink just for you, sir. Made in a jiffy without compromising quality. Thanks. It's great as usual. I can't seem to make it like you do. But it still works, right? At least for the intended purpose. It does. I'm just saying yours is still the best. Thank you. Taste wise. What is it anyway? Ginger latte? It's closer to ginger milk tea, I think. What Carbon said. Either way, I've come to like it as my late night shift drink of choice. Thirteenth of September. Yeah, I did press that. Since I'm trying to cut back on my caffeine intake. For health reasons? Pretty much, yeah. I find myself better at controlling my fury that way. Ah, I see. That's good to know. Good to know. Guess I'll have to rely on you in my venture into the world of tea drinking. You can count on me. I should leave before the storm gets any worse. Oh. Next time we'll catch up. Okay. All right. Sorry to leave in the middle of the conversation. Hang in there. It always gets better. Thank you. Have a safe trip. See you. Um, Riona, isn't it? I'm sorry to hear about your auditions. Trust me, I really get how you're feeling right now. Yeah? No, mm -hmm. not quite. I've been rejected by agencies many times too, before I finally made it into my previous group. Miss Rachel here is an idol. Her single is on the shelves behind you. Oh! That's amazing! Thanks! Do you have a real app online somewhere? We might be playing on a different field, but I still love to see it. I took it down a long time ago. Why? I had to deal with a lot of online harassment. Therefore I removed it to save myself some headaches. What? People are unbelievable. Don't mind the haters. They're just people who have nothing better to do. Right. I suppose you must have dealt with similar things before. Plenty. He comes with a fame. For better or for worse. I see. Anyways, you should keep it up. Maybe I can ask my colleagues if they know any additions leads. If you link me a reel. Are you sure? Yep. I mean, no promises, but I'll try. Did we fuck things up by giving you the wrong tea now? No! Rachel, you need to fix this! No! Um... I have a video if you want to see it. Of course. Let me move over there then. A video of Riona singing. Whoa! I might not get opera, but that was pretty nice. It'd be great if you posted more of these online. What do you mean? You have this... Mm, je ne sais quoi. Je ne sais quoi thing going on. An unusualness that may captivate some people. Oh, I know, you should upload your stuff to Tomochail. I bet many people will love it. Oh, that's alright. Hmm? What's wrong? I don't think I'm cut out to have any presence online. I don't fit in with the culture. I told you, don't mind the haters. I mean, it's not just that. I, I might also have a complex regarding something else. What complex? You both <laughs> might dislike me for this. Why? 
I wish to do my best in the old-fashioned way, so to speak. Meaning... I... It seems more appropriate for me to well, follow the traditional route. You still need to be discovered. This is the way how to do it. Uh, yeah. The, the old-fashioned way is what has failed you so far. As opposed to using shortcuts or... Things that are online. Oh. I get it. I realize this makes me sound snobbish. I apologize. Who cares? <laughs> Everyone is a snob in one way or another. Mm. At any rate, I'll try asking around if they have any sort of leads. Should we exchange IDs? Do you have any? No, but I have a cell phone number. Hmm, okay. There. Thank you. Okay, Ryona. I have to go now. I'll hit you up by text if I have anything. Thank you so much. Don't thank me yet. But you're welcome. Carbon, I'm going. See you soon? Of course. Please, come again soon. Bye bye. And pshew! So interesting. This is my first time seeing a Nikomimi <laughs> up close. Is that so? Oh. How about your car? Will you be alright? I have a spare tire. I will fix it once the battle improves. <laughs> Not sure it will improve. Alright. Coming here was a wise decision. I wasn't sure whether I should. Oh? In truth, I'm deeply embarrassed by my conduct last time. I regret it. I apologize. Please, don't be sorry. No harm done. Thank you. It's just... There are times when I, too, feel lonely. That was, was not my first rejection from an audition, as you may have already inferred. But... It never gets easier. Understandable. To be clear, I would just ruminate about it in my car while being parked somewhere. I acknowledge it is not the most effective means of resolving my feelings. However, it is better than the alternatives. Which are none. Now you can always come here. I don't know. I feel as though I'm only bringing doom and gloom to the table here. Nonsense. Our door is always open. In the evenings, of course. So please, don't ever hesitate to stop by. We'll see. Sounds like the weather will clear up no, soon. No, does it now? Really? H how do you know? Hmm. <laughs> Experience? Let's just say I observe the sky a lot. Especially in traffic. Makes sense. I guess? In any case, I better leave now. Thank you again, Carbon. You're very welcome. Have a safe trip out there, Miss Riona. I hope she comes by again. I think this is it for today, and since that's it for today, let's see what happened here. And did she upload something, perhaps? Nope. Okay, okay, it's a bad idea, I won't do it, jeez. <laughs> jeez. Let's see. Hmm? Whose keycard is this? Well, that's obviously Gala's. How did you miss that? A keycard attached to a lanyard. Hmm. I just keep it for now. Someone's apartment key, maybe. Okay, let's wrap this all up now, shall we? 
Sugar and Spice, Spice and Sweet, and Natural Bliss in a Cube. And that is it for today's episode uh, of uh, Coffee Talk 2. Uh, I'll have to make this in, uh, exit a bit shorter because my headphones are running out of battery. Maybe you've been hearing, hearing the beeping. Uh, but yeah, uh, if you want to see more of my videos, you can see them at the bottom of the screen. And remember, yes, because you're not the main character, doesn't mean you're not important. Goodbye, everyone.